Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Haunting Ground. Now, we were being chased by this big Uncle Bad Touch type fellow. Oh, actually, can we go outside, I wonder? Let's go outside, if we can. I go outside? We actually can, okay. Right. Now, I'm not sure what we're looking for or where we're going, but I do know we can kick open uh, those red pots. So, I just have to remember where they... Oh, where they were. Uh, oh, there we go. Medallion. What's that about? Medallion. Uh, metal used during the alchemic refining process. Your basic run-of-the-mill alchemic component. Okay. Do we make things? I guess. Alright, well that's interesting. Is there a crafting mechanic to this? I guess we're going to go find out. Right, so we still can't go through there. But I guess we can go downstairs. And I know there was at least another one of those smashable red vase things. So let's go have a little squiz. Now, as for Unky Bad Touch, I don't know where he's gone to. And I don't know whether he's predetermined to just turn up every now and again, or really what the deal with him is. Great. Lovely. Just what I bloody wanted. A whole load of nothing. Give me some items, games. Ooh, can we go through here? Nope. The hinge must be rusted. Try as I may, I can't open this door. Ooh. Damn it. I like opening doors. They're the best doors. The doors that you can't open, now they're the ones that suck ass. Now, can we destroy this? No. The door was being blocked. Is being blocked by that wooden box. There's got to be something I can do. Well, there is this hole here. There's a hole here, but it's far too small for me. Really? Really? That's too small for you? I strongly disagree, but okay. You look like a tiny little thing. Large tree has sprawled out here. Okay, well, thanks for your input. Ooh. Right, what have we got through here then? Magnesia. I guess that's another alchemical ingredient. I like how detailed this is out here. It's really kind of interesting. Guess we can't search any of that. And that is where we came from. I just want to put the terrible things I saw back there behind me. So we definitely can't go back out there. Alright. So I guess we're done with this, unless we can find some kind of oil to open that door. Uh, I don't know, actually. There's a couple of doors out here. So, let's get out of here. Let's go back inside. And hopefully Uncle Bad Touch, which we will now call Brian, isn't around. Did we go down this door like, oh, this last time? Don't think we did. No. The door is locked from the other side. Well, that's a kick in the knickers. We do have a rather nice pot here to smash. What's this? Hmm, more powder. Uh, alchemical mixing. So, I guess 
does this count as a hidey hole? I'm not really sure. I don't know what is classed as a hidey hole and what isn't. There isn't like any visual uh, kind of heads up to when you're hidden. Think Sam Fisher. You know, there's no kind of like hidden meter. Now, that door was locked. That was the door with like that we couldn't do anything in. We needed a key for the desk. Now this doll here. Oh, we can pick that up. Right. Not really sure why we can pick that up or what the use is for. Such tremendous heat with heat like this, I'm sure it could be used for refining. Uh, is that like a hint that we can refine? Uh, quip. Created by polishing and extracting magnesium ore. This item is used by setting it on the ground. If an enemy runs over the magnesium, it will explode. Oh, okay. Alright, so that's a mine then. A hardened clump of uh, anto and and oh, my dyslexia is not not letting me read that. I can read it. You know what it says. I know what it says. But the words, the words. Thank you, brain. Uh, throw it and it explodes on impact. Its attack power is weak, but it can stun the enemies for a short period of time. All right. So we actually have some equipment. Debilitus. Favorite plaything. Is that what that thing's called? Debilitus. Well, he's not called Debilitus. He's called Brian. Uncle Bad Touch Brian. Uh, favorite plaything. It is coated with caked on dirt and gives off quite the pungent aroma. Yeah, we're not going to think about what he's probably done with that. Uh, don't know how we move that. Although it's pretty obvious we have to move it at some point. So we can't duck and move. So we can't kind of like stealth crawl. Crab walk, if you will. Now we don't know where Brian is. It's completely ruined. What could have happened here? Well, it looks like somebody's been playing with this stuff. And it wasn't us. Ooh, typewriter. You had an ink ribbon, you could save your game. It's not a computer, that's for sure. It has alphabetic keys, though. Oh. Okay. Okay, uh, I have no idea what that's about. Right, what do you do? A thin metallic plate with letters carved into it. Uh, return to plate to the plate pressing machine. Okay, so I guess we need for something. Not a hundred percent sure what. Is this a bird cage? Looks like the remaining husk of a bird is in the cage. Lovely. So we are kind of out of options. A woman with her wings protruding from her back. An angel perhaps? Demon to some. Angel to most, maybe. Alright. So. 
we have a plate making machine that we can make plates with. Ah, oh, we can shut doors. That's interesting. Now, there doesn't appear to be anything in here, really, that we can... We need to make plates. So the only thing we have to do is we've got to shift this. But we can't shift that without our, I guess, the big guy. Uh, ah, wait, hang on. So that's still locked. Desk is locked. Do we need that plate? To create something in here. Kind of doesn't look like it. There's nothing obvious here. Someone's been doing research here. Well, I mean, that makes sense. That's generally what we do in a study. Hmm. So, what are we missing here? Items. This medallion here. Refining process. Can't use this here. Can we use that on the pot thing? I wonder. Let's go have a look. Yeah, because she mentions refining there. So. Can't use this here. You sure? Unless we need to find some kind of information about refining. All right. <clears throat> so. The only thing that we've really found is a file that says, uh, uh, what? I can't even remember what the file said it was called now. Meth? Oh, hang on. Hang on. You're better than this old boy. Right, life from soil. This golem needs not nourishment nor sleep, making this earthen guardian the ultimate safekeeper for our deepest alchemic scene. I dub this creature Emeth. So, by that logic, that's literally the only thing we have. Emeth. Got the Emeth plate. Now, curiously enough. I have found something out about this. We can actually get another plate. We can get a bit of a Brucey bonus here. If we just type um, mess, I think, without the E. Funny enough, I remember this. I've had a headache with pictures. I I kind of remember this from a old video that I saw of this game a long time ago about secrets in gaming. But let's go back and save it because there's a couple of things that can happen here. Um, and I'm not a hundred percent sure which I want to happen. Okay, so we've got the TV going, and we've got the clock. So we're going to save our current game. We're going to save it there. And we're going to go back. Now, because we've saved it, I can experiment a bit. I th think F1. I've, I haven't used this PlayStation 2 emulator in ages. But I think if we go in here, I think it's F1 to save state. I actually remember what the save state button is, but anyway, 
A huge doll made of earth blocks the door. There is a slot-shaped hole in the chest. Yeah, I forgot to say I examined that. Pretty bloody obvious, because I tried to push it, but I didn't actually examine the bloody thing, did I? Anywho, uh, so, if we use this one, which is its name, It walks out of the way. Like so. However, if. Now, can we exit the game? We cannot. I need to. I always hate it when there isn't an easy way of going back to the main menu. So, one second, guys. Uh, I will meet you back here. So, if we use the other one, something different happens, apparently. For some reason, if we miss the E out of his name, he breaks apart. That was kind of interesting, but not just breaks apart though. He actually uh, drops an item. Obsidian choker. Uh, and I th think... I think we can discard that now. Um... So, special. Right, obsidian choker. Choker is composed of long slices of durable obsidian. Reduces the strength of Azoth odor emitted from Fiona. Players can more easily escape being detected by luminescence. I don't understand what that means, but I mean, sure. Um, is she actually wearing the choker? I mean, she's wearing a choker there. Uh, can we get, like, a decent look at her? Alright, well, we can see her neck there, so I'm curious. Remove. I don't think she actually wears, wears it, but anyway, whatever. That's not what's important here. Uh, right. So we now have a choker that makes us show up less to luminescence whatever exactly those things are so we can hide in that shadow of that door there and if we fall down there we're going to have a bad time oh there's an item item on that pillar there which we kind of want to get I guess can we? I guess we can't just like kick it. No. I wonder how we get that then. Alright, well, let's explore. So we've got a ladder. Ooh, we've got some pots. We like pots. Pots make us feel better. Magnes, so that's one of those mines. What else we got? Nothing. Uh, the opening has been sealed up with a wooden board. Hmm. So we've got a door there and a door here. Let's go through this one. <coughs> oh, that one's locked. Ah, that one actually specifically mentions finding a key. Which is interesting. So we need to find a key for that door. I wonder if it's the thing that's above the actual door. But this one we can go through. Yeah, that weird filter that's on the gate. I don't like... I never like post-processing filters. 
And there's literally like gas lamps in the corridor here, which is interesting. We still haven't found a map. We've got a portcullis here. Gate. Gonna have to find another way. Well, we can handle that. I'm guessing we can't climb up the pillar. It's not gonna be something silly like that. Ooh. Someone. Ooh. Ah, there's a key. And an item. What does that say? What is this? I probably shouldn't go snooping around things that I know nothing about. Yeah, considering we've just seen a freaking golem get up and walk out of the way and then crumble into nothing. So there's the key. Uh oh. Oh, she is wearing the choker. Ah, Fiona. I see you finally awaken. I recognize that voice. There's something that I've wanted to show you for quite some time. Pull away that sheet behind you. <gasps> ah, beautiful, isn't it? That, my dear, is what you will become in the future. Whoa. Go ahead. You may touch it. You will be mine, Fiona. Wait. <laughs> so what is that? What is this thing? Really gives me the creeps. Why would anybody in their right mind put something like this here? So... He wants to get her pregnant, I guess. Is that like some sort of meat? Like, is that doll made out of meat? Or is it kind of like a golem type thing? I think I'll refrain from touching it. Heck, even looking at it makes my skin crawl. So he wants to bang us. I guess he was the one that was looking through the... I got some camel. Looking through the... Bloody painting at us. Right, now we can answer this once and for all. Right, no, it is a different choker. Cool. I like the little details like that. Alright, so he wants to make babies with Fiona. Got ya. But, why? Why? And who the hell is he? Apart from some dude that likes to play the piano. And kidnap ladies to make babies with them. A uh, rather sturdy look to it. Well, we can't kick it over. That's oh, this bookshelf of fine design has a rather sturdy look to it. Can we? Can we like knock it over? Hmm, maybe, maybe, but not now. Lots of books seem to be on the subject of music. Well, that makes sense for a music room. We've got some cam chamomile. That's interesting. So, I've heard that there's four endings to this game as well. I don't know how we get all the different endings. But, I guess we shall find out. And there's 11 different rankings for finishing the game. See, I've been doing my research. I've been having a little look around. Ah, uh, how do we get that, though? If we go up here, does she even mention that there's an item there? This game kind of gives me the feeling that it would mention something like that. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be something as silly as running and jumping. No, because as soon as you... As soon as you actually search anything here, she goes straight for the ladder. Uh, also, there's a stairway, a set of steps down, that literally leads into a lethal death drop. So that's fun. Ah, door's locked. It's going to be one of these games where you have to, even though you've got the item, garden key, 
your average run-of-the-mill key. This key gives you entry to the inside of the castle through the garden. Oh. No, it is this key. Yeah. Even in the cutscene, she's wearing a choker. Oh, that's one of the luminescence things that we've heard about. Don't know what they are. Exactly. Uh, ah, right. Luminescence are tiny creatures that feverishly pursue Fiona once they have caught wind of her. <laughs> okay. Smell her pheromones, I guess. Uh, when a luminescent makes contact with Fiona, it, uh, it not only puts her in a state of panic, but also ruptures. Producing a sound which attracts the unwanted attention of nearby enemies. Oh, right. Okay. Luminescents do not fade over time. Oh, do fade over time. But the most effective way to rid yourself of these troublesome creatures is to reach a neighbouring area and close the door. Doing this cuts off the luminescent sensing ability and stops them dead in their tracks. Oh, God. Alright. Well, that's an extra fuck factor to deal with. Alright, let's close the door. Now, we haven't seen Bad Touch for a while, have we? Ah, oh, there's a clock. Ooh. Not... Not sure I did a... Uh, I did the right thing there, so we've just... Tapped a pressure plate. Uh, that's possibly bad. God damn it. So that moved something. I'm not sure what that moved. <clears throat> this is just a normal chair, right? It doesn't make much sense to me. Not that anything in this place does. Alright, well we can't do much with that. Can we go through here? Wait, there's no knob. Now what do I do? Wait, there's a hook here. Maybe if I attach something to it... I could use that in place of a doorknob. Hmm. Alright, well, noted for the future, I guess. So we've got another chair. The design and type are identical to the previous chair. They are probably from the same set. The chair itself looks to be ace of a standard design. Well, okay. The wall looks weak here. Maybe if I hit it hard enough, I can break through it. Right, well, I guess we're going to be giving it one of these. Mm, maybe we need to hit it harder than that. Alright, let's try that again. No, so... Oh! Oh, yeah, that potentially was a bad idea. Oh, there's items in there, though. Puts into a panic state. So what is that? Refined antimony. What does that do? Uh, so a hardened clump of ant... Uh, Antimony powder. Used to throw at enemies. Explodes on impact. Electrifying the enemy. More potent than standard powder. Alright. Cool. I thought that was actually going to be like a doorway that led us somewhere else. But I'll take it. Ooh. There's some funky voodoo in here, man. Right. Well. Varied or ornate... Varied, ornate, high-class china lines the shelf. Looks like meat is being served. It appears that they still haven't finished preparing it. Not yet, anyway. Chicken jerky. A health item? Chicken jerky. Oh, are we only going to have a certain inventory? Ooh. Maybe. 
Chicken that has been slowly deep smoked over time restores a small amount of a dog's stamina. Right, okay. So they're for Huey. Thick reddish black discoloration cakes the surface. Lovely. I don't think this kitchen's going to be getting a five star rating anytime soon. So we can go downstairs there. And we've also got a door here. Ooh, a dining room. Well, this is spiffy. Very spiffy. Cracked plate key. Cracked plate key. Ah. Metallic plate that has been broken in half. The letters ST are carved onto the plate. Okay. Do we need to find the rest? Hmm. Interesting. Looks like there's some bits that have fallen out of that wall, but we can't do anything with them. Right, so we've got half of a plate key. Unlock the door. Where does that go to? Oh! Right, so that links back up to downstairs. Interesting. And unfortunately, it sounds like Unky Bad Touch is up there. So, we know he is now on the loose. I'm guessing... Ooh. Plywood panel door blocking my path. But it could be broken through easily enough. do we have here? Oh, castle sketch. That's the map, I guess. So that's what we wanted to do. Anything else? Come to think of it, my father was quite the wine connoisseur. Yeah, I get the feeling she's from some sort of posh background. Ooh! Now... <clears throat> I don't want to be that guy, but I don't think she's hiding that well. I mean, her feet are kind of sticking out of the table. But what do I know, I guess? Hmm. Anyway, guys, I think we're out of time for this episode. So I'm actually going to use the power of save states to uh, drop a save there. When we come back, well, we've got the castle sketch, so let's have a look at that. Oh, we can't, apparently, whilst we're hiding. Um, Hand-drawn sketch of the Belly Castle. A section of the rooms in the basement have been coloured red. Oh, we used it. Right. That map... <sighs> that map is not fantastic. I'll be honest. Don't know what the red things on the map are. Which is also questionable. Ooh. More chicken jerky. Cool. Now, where is our dog? Box emanates no specific odour. Looks like it's full of canned goods. Alright. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this game, apparently. This is cool. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect. And the whole idea that you don't actually have any weapons to fight back, but that doesn't really, at least so far, seem to be a lot of enemies. So... I guess there's just a few stalker enemies walking around, maybe, that you have to hide from. I think we can handle that. 
Um, and then you've got the luminescence as well, which apparently uh, will attack you. And I guess call those other enemies to you. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, I like what I've played so far. This is really refreshing. Uh, I have a feeling if I actually had this back in the day, apparently I was reading on the forums that this game was in bargain bins for $9.99 because it sold so poorly. It was literally discounted to pennies and now it goes for hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Ah, oh, that's well, I mean, there's quite a few games that that's happened with, but I will try and hunt down a copy of this game one day just because I really want it in my collection. Same as Rule of Rose, that's another game that I really want, but that's ridiculous money. Uh, even more than this, significantly more than this. Um, that's actually a game I really want to revisit soon because I remember having a really bad time with that game, but I was in a really shitty <laughs> time of my life as well, which, um, uh, influenced my thoughts quite significantly. So I think I need to give that game another fair shake. Anyway, now I really am going. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, till next time.